My name is Phil Goodwin. Uh, I play guitar and sing in Elephant Keys. I'm called Mike Reed and I play drums in Elephant Keys. My name's Tom Goodwin and uh, I play organ, piano, bass, harmonica. <laughs> Corporation, actually, I bumped into you. You were coincidental, actually, because I was just trying to start a band. If you yeah. cast your mind back, but me and Tom didn't have a bass or a drummer. Uh, Mike were looking for a band to play with again, and uh, we decided to have a go at this three piece idea. Um, not strictly having a bass, but then again, Tom decided to pick that up, didn't you? And from any band we've had before, where I've been in the middle and been a front man up front of it. I've now got to focus more on just being strict playing at size and Tom's the one that's bringing dynamic to it so I thought what is it that he's doing different than what most bands I've got and that, that's keys you know it's like there's lots of piano in our stuff and there's not many bands that we, we meet on circuit yeah. is there that's got, got keyboards and stuff so. Going back to like 60s. So no, like first about 80s though. I really focused on what I was learning um, and taking lessons and things from bands such as Led Zeppelin, uh, ACDC, and that type of thing. And more recently, I like Foo Fighters. I, I really like Taylor Hawkins as a drummer. I, th I think he's got a really good style. And, um, white Stripes stuff, Jack White's done, uh, Rocking Tours, things like that. Bit of blues, bit of rock. Kind of that kind of stuff. More American rock bands at the moment. Just to like a good, good blues guitar. My favourite tours, I would have to say, um, definitely from a crowd point of view and, and the venue, the Subways tour, that was really good. Just because we were playing sold out big academies every night. Uh, lots of, you know, these 14 and over shows, you've got kids crowd surfing, jumping up and down, and that's good. But same again, with that one of our first tours, uh, we didn't know what to expect, it was quite overwhelming and then as time's gone on, even though such as we've done headline tours and that, toilet tours and stuff and little rooms that's got 20 people in that, we got to a point where we kind of appreciate them just as much. So some of our lesser tours and that I've enjoyed as much as the, the bigger ones. The, uh, the Czechs tour, that was pretty good. Just because we got on, with, we got on with the band really well, and plenty of drinking and stuff, and partying you know, as you do. For a venue, I always liked. Is it Birmingham? No. Birmingham that one? Academy, you were that, like. Yeah, Birmingham Academy. Yeah, it's like oh. everyone's all around. The oh, yeah. Shepherd's Bush Empire, that's good as well. You know, like when you've just got people like I as well. Um, yeah, probably one of them. I would have thought. Festivals are always good though. I think the one I enjoyed most. So obviously at V you've got the stress, play well, big stage and everything else that's happening, you know, there's a lot of people, but quite a relaxed atmosphere with people you know. I think it was from Parrot when we did um, it was called Tram Lines Festival last year. And it's quite a small pub and we're quite a lot of people with it there that we know, but the, the pub itself probably only holds, I don't know, about two hundred. And there must have been four hundred in. And it, it was just it was just it was manic and everybody were really involved. And 